The stars are aligning. I'm starting to see the big picture. The next Animal Crossing is 100% without a doubt in development now and has likely been for a while now. But things are ramping up in a way that I believe indicates we are really very close to seeing the reveal. So, Animal Crossing New Horizons came out in March of 2020. A beautiful, amazing game, but it appears Nintendo didn't completely finish the job. So for a long time following the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons, basically every or every other month, we were getting updates to add more to the game, culminating in the very last update in November of 2021. We also got Happy Home Paradise, our only DLC for New Horizons, in November of 2021 as well. Next month, that'll have been three years ago now. And it's safe to say the work for New Horizons, minus maybe the occasional bug fix here and there, has been completed. Meaning the Animal Crossing team has had to be working elsewhere on another project for the last three years. And we can easily be led to believe that project is the next mainline Animal Crossing game. After all, the next Nintendo system will be out soon, and Nintendo would know that and want to begin work on launch titles and games within the first year of the next console right away to ensure as many people as possible are enticed to getting the new console as fast as possible. Three years is plenty of time to get a lot of work done. Especially when you take into account that the graphics for New Horizons are breathtakingly stunning. They don't have to do much, if anything, in the means of upscaling. Meaning so, so much groundwork has already been done for them. Now they need to plan a storyline, the town size and layout, any new features, all that. Then they can start actually developing the game. My belief is that using the assets they already have, they should be well into development of the game by now. Possibly even almost finished with the game, with the amount of groundwork already done and the time they've had. Nintendo EBD Production Group number 5 is in charge of both the Animal Crossing and Splatoon franchises. It's a massive team, and because they work together, they can share developers whenever needed. Think of it as two cups of water. They can both be half full, but when one game is getting close to finish and needs more effort to be put into it, so it can launch on time and launch smoothly, the team of one water cup can pour into the other so you can have a few staff to keep them going while the majority of the production can be focused on one game that needs more attention. We can see this in how Animal Crossing New Horizons completed their updates and DLC work in 2021, so they could help the Splatoon team get Splatoon 3 out in 2022. Now Splatoon 3 has finished up their games, updates, and DLC, and the final Splatfest occurred on September 16th, just last month. Perfect timing for them to wrap things up and start shifting attention to helping the Animal Crossing team get out the next mainline Animal Crossing game in time to have a smooth launch, hopefully next year. Speaking of the team being split on different projects, this has been the case for a long time with Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, which has had events going almost non-stop since it released. Now, finally, the mobile game will officially be shutting down as of this November, shortly after it surpasses its 7 year anniversary. They also plan to release in November an offline version of the game for players to transfer their progress or start a new in that will not have microtransactions or subscriptions or online or any updates to the game. While this may be sad for some players, this is ultimately good news for the greater Animal Crossing community. Now that part of the team that has had to focus on Pocket Camp this whole time can also join the rest of the team working on the next mainline Animal Crossing game, meaning even more progress even faster. I wouldn't be surprised if Splatoon 3 and Pocket Camp were both neatly tied up and finished for this exact reason, because Nintendo knows the importance of the next Animal Crossing game. A lot can be said about New Horizons timing during the pandemic, but seeing as the game hasn't slowed down sales since launch and has continued to sell fantastically since then, I think it's safe to say that while Animal Crossing New Horizons launch timing definitely gave it an initial boost, it definitely isn't the entire reason for its success. After all, Animal Crossing has been a huge Nintendo game for a long time, one they pride themselves on bringing to every new console, Wii U excluded for obvious reasons. 
In fact, Animal Crossing New Horizons currently sits at Nintendo Switch's second best-selling game of all time by a large margin. And people have sung Nintendo's praises to no end for this game. It's clear, especially since even years after launch, Nintendo continues to do events like the Animal Crossing Aquariums, Animal Crossing Lego sets, and posting regularly on their accounts, that Nintendo truly appreciates the masterpiece they have with, Am with Animal Crossing. Nintendo isn't likely to wait long after the launch of their next Nintendo system before bringing over the next big mainline Animal Crossing game. In a different video, I did the calculations, and the average time between releases of Animal Crossing games is 4.375 years, or 4 years and 4 and a half months, which we have already passed. The Switch's successor is said to be releasing likely in the 2025 fiscal year, at which point Animal Crossing New Horizons will have just surpassed its 5 year anniversary. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see the next Animal Crossing game come out as a launch title or at least within the first year of the next system. If we're lucky, we may even see it in the Switch's successor's reveal trailer. The signs are increasingly pointing towards the development of the next Animal Crossing game, and the timing couldn't be more perfect. With the last significant update for New Horizons occurring in late 2021, it's clear the development team has had ample time to pivot their focus to the next game. The groundwork laid by New Horizons allows for a streamlined development process. And the conclusion of Splatoon 3 and Pocket Camp suggests that resources are being put towards the next mainline Animal Crossing game. Given the franchise's popularity and the anticipated release of Nintendo's next console, it's not just hopeful speculation. There's a compelling case for a reveal being, ahem, <laughs> right on the horizon. We could very well be just around the corner from the announcement of a lifetime, the next Animal Crossing game. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy Animal Crossing, Toadachi Life, and Cozy Nintendo Gaming in general, consider subscribing to join the family. And if you liked today's video, gently tap that like button so YouTube likes me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Love you all! Bye!